It's been two days since our big shop update and today we unbox a new printer for our small okay, business. Ooh. This printer has six inks. Oh, that's pretty cool, look at that. Package lots of orders, experiment with printing new glass tumblers. Happy with how they turned out. And panic that we are running out of time for all. Literally, why does this happen every launch? Something always goes wrong. Good morning guys. So in the last vlog, if you follow along on this vlog, we had a big shop launch for summer and we were totally, totally blown away by your guys support. Thank you so, so much. This vlog is going to be the aftermath of that launch. So it's been two days since the big summer launch. Yesterday was actually my social media and editing day. We are really up to date with these vlogs by the way. They're like literally filmed and then edited and uploaded. In this small business vlog, we have a few things that we actually need to get done and it's pretty important that we get it done because as per usual I am running out of time and I was reading all the comments last last week and it makes me laugh so much because you guys keep me on track a lot of people mentioned that I need to get to work on the catnip calendar because that is coming up and if you guys watched last year we did it within like two weeks or something and it was very very stressful illustrating a full calendar so I did want to get the ball rolling with that but most importantly we need to get to work on the autumn products but we also have other tasks so task number one we actually have to unbox a brand new art printer that we've got today we have had this in the studio for like seven days and haven't unboxed it yet but basically ours has packed in it has had so much use actually it still works but we're having a massive issue with ink spilling over even though we've done everything we've changed the maintenance box we've cleaned all the inkjet heads number two i'm going to jump on orders with mike and dean to try and get the bulk of orders down and I'm really excited about that because it's the first time that I'm going to be packaging orders in our new studio so I'm going to get to see what the setup is like. Number three is the autumn products. I need to sit down and really think which autumn themes that I want to do this year so I have actually four collections in mind and I'm not going to be able to do all four but I am thinking of doing two so I'm going to sit down with my sketchbook I'm going to brainstorm some ideas sit down and really plan out which characters and which products that I want to actually get on with and I want to send off the enamel pins. They're the things that take the longest to arrive. So let's unbox the new printer, I'll show you what we've got and then let's get to work on packing orders. Let's go shall we? Dean's just moved the printers over here. So these are the printers we used to use. Let me try and see what they're called. It is the Epson ET7750 and these have been absolute workhorses and we use one of these for sublimation and one of them for normal printing. So we're going to use one as a backup but we have got the modern version for our prints. Dean just mentioned that they don't actually sell these printers anymore. I think we have got like the new modern version but honestly the, these in eco tanks have been amazing. I used to use much smaller printers so far with the cartridges in and we have found these have saved so much money and have been a great investment. The next printer, Dean's just got it over here, is this baby, the EcoTank ET88, no, 8550, so 8550. And I basically think this is just a modern version of the one that we had. This is the new shiny version and this is going to be what we print all our sticker packs on, what we print our labels on and what we print our art prints on we have found this has been exceptional for art prints and obviously if you're printing a lot of colors it saves a lot of money because I was thinking of getting a proper fine art printer but we found when we experimented with these that this really does the trick and it also comes with copy and scanner this one's an A3 one and it has double-sided printing but I've never used art done double sided before. Also I have a little update on the glass tumblers if you watched last vlog I'll give you a little bit of information about that in a bit but let's unbox this printer and uh, get it all set up shall we? It's been a long time since we last got a printer which is a good thing you don't want to be replacing printers all the time. Uh, the eco tank that we've currently got because it's leaving like black smudges now and then on stuff we found that it leaves black smudges when uh, we're printing something with a lot of black or darker details. Uh, we have tried everything to make it stop and it just randomly does it. So I'm going to use it as backup or I might even take it home and use it as like my craft printer at home. Why would they give us an empty bag? You get an empty bag in here. They still send CD-ROMs. Are they even a thing anymore? I don't even think I've got a CD-ROM on my thing. Maybe we should keep these as well. Oops. Okay, you ready? You can move it. Yeah, maybe. 
Ah, oh, got it. Ooh. Mmm, smells like shiny new printer. Where's all the cables? Oh, they're in this bit. Oh, and you also get your inks, which last ages. You get ink bottles to fill the tanks up. Oh, I love peeling those things off the digital display. Oh, I like the rounded corners of this one. This is a bit more modern, isn't it? Oh, satisfying. Leave one for me, Dee. Here it is. Our new printer. We never use the scanner, really, do we? Because some both of them have. Oh, you do sometimes. We use the top scanner, though, the sublimation scanner, because that one's on top, and we, we stack them up. One for sublimation and one for art prints and stuff. This printer too has six inks. So this has a great ink in this one. So very interesting. I think this is the first printer where it is a great ink. So I really like how streamlined that is, Dean. So Dean's just doing an update. Ooh, yeah, look how fancy this digital screen is. That's much bigger. That was the old one. I don't think it was touch screen either, was it? It was just like an old one. And did you say the paper tray comes out automatically on this one? That's pretty cool, because sometimes when you send them to print and you forget to pull out the paper tray, it doesn't print it. So, ah, oh, it's pretty cool, look at that. This looks very snazzy. Oh, automatic. Hey, how times are changing, eh? Very nice. Right, okay, now it's time to print some art prints and I'll give you an update on how they print. Dean's just done all the calibration and stuff like that. You're printing pin banners first. We've been using this printer for around about a week and a half now and we have to say the print quality has been exceptional. If you print it on the highest quality, it does take a while to print, but we have found that you don't actually need to print the images on the best quality all the time and it still produces faster and really clean and crisp prints. As you can see, this is a zoomed close-up of our autumn sticker pack, which we are getting ready for our store, and it prints exceptional. Our favourite go-to setting for art prints and for stickers is to print on Epson Premi semi-gloss paper printer settings, so you always have to experiment when you buy a new printer, but we have been loving this printer so far. And I am just about to set up my workbench to pack all the orders. Mike has actually put tags on our Shopify store um, to let us know who's going to package what so you can actually add tags and stuff That's one thing I actually really like so we've got them all set up with tags and stuff I'm gonna get mine up and Mike has put a hundred <laughs> in my list So can we get a hundred orders done in one day by one person? Mike's got a hundred. I've got a hundred. Dean's got 50. We're gonna set up our workspace and uh, Get to work on packaging orders. I'm thinking of setting up my laptop and I actually have an iPad stand that I'm hoping I can have it like you know raised so I'm going to see if that works and then I'm going to lay out my workbench first and it's time to pack orders. Let's go, shall we? Ah, thanks, Mike. He's like, I've already <laughs> organised your workbench, even with water bottles. So, thank you very much. He knows me very well because I drink one of these a day while I'm at work. Two litres. Stay hydrated. Actually, I should use one of my hydration stickers on these. Anyway, I have got a stand and I'm thinking if I can... The only thing is the MacBook doesn't... I don't know, it doesn't go out very far. So I'm gonna get my stand and then this is gonna be my workbench for this. So me and Mike are sharing our uh, paper, sharing this, the tissue paper, sharing the stickers. Stickers are in the centre. This is how it's set up so that multiple people can work here. This feels a lot nicer than the old studio where we were literally cramped in as a small as fifth ever like this. <laughs> and we had to actually like pack on like the other end of the studio so this feels much better I will say. So this is a little stand that I've got for my iPad. Oh that actually really works. Oh oh maybe not. Oh uh yeah no it doesn't work. I wonder if I can put a weight on it but what can I use as a weight? Whoa yeah it definitely doesn't need a weight on. Do we not need to use this? Oh that could work. Okay Whoa, <laughs> maybe that could work. So here's my space, all ready to go. Little higher up, same eye height as the uh, other monitors. Uh, just brought my laptop into work. We've got catnip.com there. And now it's time to package orders. Underneath here as well is all different solo bags, different cardboard bags. We might have to put this one in the center. Let's do this, Mike. 100 orders, can we do it each? I have no, probably not. But in the center, we've got the tissue paper, which we use the most of. We've got the solo bags and we've got some logo stickers, uh, which I might put up here. And this is my desk space, so let's get to work on packing orders, shall we?
Good morning guys, my SD card ran out and if I'm being totally honest, I am freaking out a little bit because I'm running out of time. I mentioned earlier in the vlog that I really needed to get to work on my autumn pins and get them sent off this week. The problem is, it's currently Thursday and I'm not at work tomorrow because it's Dean's birthday and I grossly underestimated how long it would take me to do this product launch. We've also ran into another issue that our sticker delivery is delayed. I promised myself that I wouldn't launch the stickers unless we received the stickers and I thought it's going to be fine this time because I had them done in plenty of time however I didn't check my emails and they'd sent me back another proof even though I told them to go ahead and print them all they sent me back another proof that then I was meant to approve but because I was busy with the launch I didn't check my emails and therefore they didn't receive the approval so they're making that up so that means a couple of customers are going to be let down and the shipping is going to be delayed ah oh, literally why does this happen every launch something always goes wrong there's something it's never just like per like perfectly smooth no matter how many launches I've done there is always something and the problem is because there's only three of us in it is difficult to manage the orders back in 2020 we had my sister and we had my brother helping us but the problem with that is me hiring more staff is not a suitable solution because we're only this busy really after a big launch so normally I jump on and I do all the orders and then we kind of go a little quiet again or we kind of get a steady stream of 
orders that Mike and Dean can handle usually. So hiring an another member of staff isn't really fair because I wouldn't be able to give the hours to Mike and also to the new staff member. I have been thinking of possibly doing a Christmas or autumn temp uh, position. I don't know what I'm going to do. Maybe when I do launches I could say that the shipping times might be like a couple of days more but I really need to get to work on these orders and I also need to send off for the autumn products. Speaking of Mike, hi Mike, how are you doing? So we're gonna jump back on orders today but I thought I would show you the glass tumblers that I was on about because uh, Matthew came in the other day to see us and he really really likes them. Come and have a look at them. So here is the experiment we did off camera with the glass tumblers. So we've got <laughs> Mike's like hiding his, hiding his salad. Uh, we did did a couple of experiments. Matthew actually took one home because he really liked them. Um, and we did different colours. One was like more pale. And basically, Mike figured out that you could actually tighten the heat press further than I was tightening it. When I was trying the heat press, I tightened the back. I knew like these back bits tighten the mugs. And when the metal bit touched the top like this, I thought they couldn't tighten any further. However, Mike found out that you can't actually tighten it further although I think it's not meant to be well, I can't even open it again I don't think it's actually meant to be that tight I also got some suggestions of you guys mentioning that you can actually buy these silicone wraps to put in these presses so we began experimenting with them and they worked the only thing is is I'll show you in close-up detail we have got some fading because I think we need to turn the mugs around because it doesn't create a perfect seal and these are kind of like a full wrap so we did get some slight fading I don't know if the camera's going to really pick the color difference up but if you look at Bumblebutt here there is a slight fade on his body but actually to be honest I'd still be really happy with this but look at the design look how cute this looks Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. I absolutely love it. And then we also have this one. You can kind of see the fade a little bit more in his butt there. And this one was actually a um, darkened design because the one before that was a little bit more faded. But as I say, Matthew has took that home. And then this one here, as I darken the design, I don't know if you can tell the colour difference, is a little bit more red. Like it's got a little bit more of a reddy tone and I didn't like the red as much, so I had to adjust it. So on Photoshop, this design actually looks incredibly dark, but because they're frosted, I wanted to make sure that the design still showed up really nicely on the tumblers. So I darkened all the design, and I actually am very, very happy with how they turned out. What do you guys think? Rather than waiting for the autumn launch, I think I am just gonna upload these tumblers, and I'll put an announcement up. If you're not following me on Instagram, I will put an announcement up probably when they're going to go live. I uh, haven't thought of a date in mind yet because I just want to get the technique down perfectly, which I'm sure you'll see on this vlog. But this is an update. I feel a bit silly for not trying to tighten it all the way, but if I'm being honest, we actually have to put two tumblers in the press because it starts buckling. So I'm pretty sure the tumblers aren't meant to go that tight. I may look into doing the silicone wraps and just increasing the heat to kind of adjust for the silicone protection. Like I'll have to raise the heat or the time. So we still need to do more experiments before I put them up because I want to make sure we've got it down to a T like we have our mug. Anyway, now I really just need to get back to work on orders and I'm pretty much going to be on orders all day. In the next vlog, we're going to be attempting to finally get all the orders down to zero and then it's time to get to work on the autumn products. I grossly underestimated how long it was going to take me to package the orders and get the orders down but we really need to get to work so i'll see you next week all right then thanks so much for watching i love you goodbye